Hey guys, so today I just felt like actually kind of playing through the current level rather than explaining everything that changed. Though I probably will do another one of those explanations when it gets to around the 9th or so of February. Though you will notice some new stuff. I'm going to start out by making some uh, money. This building is still invincible. So you'll notice it looks a little different, or a lot different. There's sound effects now, so you'll hear that. Which I find a little bit annoying. <laughs> so I like to turn them down. And hopefully when I get music in it'll sound a little bit better. Let's build a rifleman tent. Obviously the closer the spawners are to the enemy, then the units will respawn faster. Alright, so once we get kind of want to get a base built first before I start going out with my own heroes just so I have stuff helping me out. I did start myself with a ton of cash which though I also started a ton of enemies too so <laughs> in actual when I start making real levels I'll probably do a little less enemies to start and less cash to start too. Uh, you know this little blue flag here but we'll go over that a little bit later. Rocket silo is a new one. Hopefully we'll be able to see that, though they take a while to actually build rockets. Grenade year I think is new. All right, let's help out a little bit. The enemy has some towers now, fun stuff. Just go deep into enemy territory. Obviously the player, if they want, they could probably just destroy the spawners right up front if they really wanted to. So probably either make them with more defenses in the future or kind of like this one. This one's really hard to get to with all that. Let's see, so as we push up here we can probably start probably take this mine shaft and maybe start making a little bit of Gatling cannons over here. So right now we only have two builders but um, it won't be something you upgrade it in mesh but rather you'll probably get uh, be kind of like campaign upgrades a bit like uh, if you played Starcraft 2 with uh, Legacy of the Void, you have the Solarite allocation where you can upgrade various things in the match. So I'll probably just call it supplies. And if you spend supplies on builders, you can have more builders per match. Maybe up to a maximum of like five or something. I don't know. Well, we got all the things made, but we can always make more. Again, if you're, it's better to build them up here because they don't start rebuilding the units until the unit on the field dies. So we're on our way to pretty much winning this small map. In future maps, I'll probably won't just have one lane. I'll probably have at least two in most matches. And that way you'll maybe you'll have your guys going down one lane and maybe you'll set up the fences on the other. Grenade the ears, they're bad at one-on-one, -on -one, but they're pretty good against clumped up stuff. So if they can get to here and throw a bunch of grenades, they could probably do some damage. Come on, Rocky, you'll see this red bar is slowly building up. When that happens, it'll add one rocket, and it'll start building another even if I don't fire it immediately. And I'm thinking that's kind of the most fun way to do it gameplay-wise, rather than just having one rocket per silo. And even if this dies and you still have the rocket left over, you'll still keep it. So I like to imagine that this rocket is transported <laughs> to the headquarters or something. Oh, we did not do the um, tunnel yet go ahead and build that as like a forward area. Do, do, do. Throw a Gatling cannon or two. A 
rocket turret. So you see this little blue flag. As soon as this is built, I'll be able to click on it while I'm in commander mode. And now when I choose a hero, I'll spawn at this spot instead of at the headquarters. If this gets destroyed, then it'll default back to the headquarters. And I can build multiple of these tunnels and easily switch between them. So right now it's not built, so I can't choose it as my spawning location. Let's see if I click on it, now this is where I spawn. And also if I walk over it with my hero, it'll switch the spawning spot to that too. So it's kind of two ways you can switch where you spawn it. I, th I like that method. So if it dies like that, it'll immediately switch to this your headquarters being the main spawning spot. You can always just click back on that. All right, yeah, I think you can see my guys are having a tough time breaking through this these heavy defenses. So either got to make a ton more guys, and if we want, we can sell some of these because they're way back here. And we can rebuild them up front so that way there's essentially more waves going at the enemy at a time. Oh yeah, the rocket's ready. Alright, watch this. It won't actually kill them, but it'll do a good amount of damage. So that seemed like less damage than I remember. <laughs> well, it did some. I don't have to check the health values and the damage. <laughs> so I thought it was supposed to do bring them down to like 25% or so. Oh well. Ava's got her sniper rifle. She can shoot a little farther though. It's mainly good against units. The towers shoot pretty far, so it's not so good against the towers. I think Jackson's probably the best because he can just run in there when he's using his secondary. Yep. Now at this point, I would have basically said that you won, but I haven't really set up win conditions at the moment. So, yeah. That's kind of how the gameplay goes. I think it's pretty fun. Hopefully you guys can let me know about your ideas. I'm hoping to implement music probably next. I got one of those music packs from the Unity store. It's in a humble bundle a while ago. <laughs> it is decent. It'd be nice if I could hire like an artist and get custom music, but that'd be something if I ended up making a fair amount of money then I could do it later but certainly not up front and yeah some music and then I'll probably start working on actual levels let's see I'm gonna I'm planning on having three tutorial levels probably the first one you'll probably just use the heroes the second one you will probably just use that commander mode and then the third tutorial will be a mixture and then I want to have at least 10 levels for the main story when I ship Got three difficulty levels. I definitely want to do that. Right now, it does nothing. <laughs> I change between them, but I'll implement that at some point. Easy, medium, hard. And also, somewhere around here, I'll put probably call it the armory where I talked about where you'd be able to allocate your supplies and maybe have extra builders or maybe have your units do extra damage or other different things. Maybe more starting resources, that sort of stuff. Yeah, that's kind of the gameplay, so I hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching. Oh, just show you our options. Got overall volume so far, sound effects volume, music volume, and frames per second. Let me know if you think there should be other options for this. Or any other options in general. Again, thanks for watching. Bye.